Hey guys, I know you're probably listening to this because you had a wrist fracture and maybe even had surgery on it like I did with the metal plate and screws put in. And you're probably wondering if it's ever going to heal because it still hurts, I'm sure. Um, so I'm going to tell you how I'm doing. And it's been about a year and a half now since it broke. So the first... Uh, Two months was pretty much severe pain, uh, no matter what I was doing with my wrist, if anything at all. But during month two, I did a lot of physical therapy, and it did start to get better pretty quickly. By month four, I was already uh, back to the gym and weightlifting and being active with my wrist again. Uh, but it still hurt a little bit on a scale. For, uh, between 1 and 10 it pretty much was like a 2 to a 3 so it was never severe pain it was never enough to make me feel like I needed to take medication for the pain and I never have taken medication for the pain um, past month 1 actually so most of you would think well who cares then but it bothered me like just to have that annoying little pain almost all the time unless my wrist was at rest was getting old pretty quick and my doctor told me I should pr probably leave the metal plate and screws in because having a second surgery gives you more scar tissue and there's obviously risks with every surgery so I was afraid to get the metal removed so I left it in and I waited another eight months actually so once I hit the one year mark I realized that it still hurt from that metal I could have swore it was from the metal I could feel the metal in there even though people would say oh you can't feel it but I definitely could and it would kind of twinge a nerve when I would pinch something or grasp something uh, or make a fist even sometimes I could just feel like a nerve twinging or something and it's just really uncomfortable so I asked my doctor about it and she said you can get the metal removed but we can't guarantee that's what's causing the pain so basically it left me just completely undecided I didn't know if I should get it out or not my doctor wasn't really helping me answer that question but I took the risk and I got it out because I truly felt that it was the metal plate right here that was causing my pain. So I had surgery again and I got the metal plate and screws removed. And now it's been five months since that second surgery. So five months since I've had the metal plate and screws out of my wrist. No more metal is in there. <clears throat> and what I can tell you is that at first, you'll maybe regret doing that second surgery because for a whole nother month or two, your wrist hurts a lot. Um, not quite as bad as it does the first time around, but still enough to really affect your life. You can't use your wrist for pretty much like a month, and then you have to do more physical therapy, but all of it's easier than the first time around that at least for me it was but it was annoying to have to deal with again but now it's over with five months later my range of motion is pretty much the same as my other wrist which has never broken before and um, I can do everything I need to with this wrist I it doesn't even hurt at the gym anymore for, for the most part um, that annoying pain from a nerve that I could feel from pinching and grasping uh, objects that went away I no longer have that weird twinge um, so for me getting the metal out was worth it but my doctor never really told me it would be and just kind of left me to decide that on my own so if your doctor's doing that same you know thing to you maybe you should get it removed um, and they say you have more scar tissue well yeah I guess but it looked like this before 
I even had the second surgery. It already looked like that from the first surgery. So I honestly don't feel like I have more scar tissue. I think it feels, the amount of scar tissue feels the same as what it was after my first surgery when I got the metal parts put in. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, and yeah, so if you have any questions, just let me know. That's my progress. Turns out getting the metal out was worth it. And I don't pretty much have any pain anymore. So hopefully your story ends up like this too. And you know, you end up with no pain. But for me, it took a year and a half to get to this point. So definitely be patient.